Been downtown lately? Looking for a parking place? Huge, huge hassle, especially when you're trying to run in and out and do something quickly. I try and avoid coming downtown if I know I've only just got a quick thing to do, because you can't find parking. We all know that feeling, but it's getting better for drivers in downtown San Francisco. The city is experimenting with wireless sensor technology that monitors whether spaces are occupied. That information is sent to a website and can be accessed on a web-enabled wireless device. We couldn't really look to do these SF Park pilot projects without wireless connectivity. Uh, our meters will be wirelessly connected to sensors in the ground that communicate about whether there's a car in the, in the spot and also the meters will accept credit cards and of course to pay by credit card at a remote location you got to have wireless technology. Uh, we're also looking to make sure that we have a web interface where people will be able to look at a PDA and see how much parking is available in particular areas. So right now you can do that with traffic. You look at a highway and if it's green, you know, you can move pretty quickly. If it's yellow, a little more slowly. If it's red, you know, you might think about another uh, way to go. We're going to have the same thing on different blocks with parking meters. So this parking, uh, this street right here, if there are no spaces available on the meter, that'd be a red, uh, a red block on your, on your PDA when you look at it. The sensors are embedded in the pavement and monitor 6,000 of the city's parking spaces, also relaying information about demand and patterning. The goal is to make parking more convenient in San Francisco, cut down congestion, and clean up the environment by taking cars off the road sooner. Well, maybe if I plan my trip a little bit more in advance as I know what areas, but if I'm downtown, well, there we go, it would take care of planning. I could look on my phone and it would... Uh, yeah, it would solve the problem for me. It would save me having to go around the block a few times. <laughs> they're actually creating a significant amount of greenhouse gases because they're stopping and going a lot and they're driving when they don't really need to be driving because they are where they need to go. And so if we can use uh, wireless technology to improve our parking management so that people circle less, we'll be dramatically helping the environment by reducing the greenhouse gases associated with circling for parking. The city is also experimenting with cell phone payments for parking and sending text messages when your time is about to expire. Did you see me coming across here trying to race against traffic with a stroller in hand to make sure the guy doesn't give me a ticket because I'm seven minutes out of my uh, out of my meter? Yeah, the convenience would be huge. I have a BlackBerry, it'll make a, a big difference. I know how to use it, it'll be simple. When uh, parking meters were invented in the 30s and first showed up, I'm sure people were like, how do I get money into this machine? And uh, eventually they got used to it, and I think they'll do the same with uh, all the wireless applications that we're going to have for parking in San Francisco.